everyone, this is Surya here, your uh, tax advisor accountant. I'm doing a short um, uh, recording here because I noticed a big trend going around. Um, and one of the biggest things is that, you know, some of the e-commerce business owners are starting to, uh, you know, question, hey, what's going on with our constitution? Yeah, a constitution here in the United States. Um, for some of you who might not be aware, who have studied the, the American history, I would just like to touch just briefly to tell you that for those of you who are questioning our Constitution, you are entitled to do so uh, for the simplicity that uh, when our colonies um, joined together um, way back in the 1700s, a decision was that we were going to do what is called a flow of commerce uh, in between are what we call now our states, our United States. Um, so that was one of the big arrangements of benefit, if you want to see it that way, of why we got united. Um, so, and we call it the free interstate um, uh, consumers. And yes, it does exist. It is a constitution. Um, actually, uh, the last draft on our constitution was way back in 1824. And it wasn't until 130 years after that the constitution um, was actually challenged. Um, there was a, a case uh, where um, actually the, the government stepped up, which was the US Supreme Court, and they, um, well, we were things around, um, seeing that it was not affecting uh, what we call the ICC, which is really an international, um, uh, goodness, uh, international uh, consumer clause, okay, international consumer clause. And the Supreme Court, when they roll way back uh, in, in that case, it had to do with a company, The well, it was well known if you want to look into details more uh, from back in the 1815, I think it was, when that happened, that case. And it was because at that time, uh, U.S. Glue Company, which is actually the company's name, uh, you know, uh, confronted, you know, the, the, the state and say, hey, wh why do you want me to pay taxes? Now, in this situation, it was not sales tax. No, it was actually uh, uh, income tax. Uh, believe it or not, yeah, they were not even paying income tax because they were selling to another state. They were only paying within their state. Um, so there was always an understanding that taxes would be due if they were in your home state, not in any other state. Um, but again, reality is that times have changed. This is the 21st century. I want to let you know that Congress does, um, you know, has the power uh, to support and make changes. However, um, they also have been called the silent clause. And the silent clause is where they're looking the other way. That's what Congress is doing, unfortunately. Uh, for whatever reason, like I said, the, the, the most uh, recent, um, you know, time that Congress got involved uh, with the government or against the government in this case, uh, like I say, it was way back in the, in, 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 you know, in the early um, 1900, I'm sorry, and that was with the U.S. Um, Blue Company, and they came out with a revision um, it, it stating something that, um, you know, that there was going to be some changes. Um, but unfortunately, when they created that revision, um, they were not very specific, uh, meaning that there was a lot of room for, um, uh, well, uh, a lot of room of problems for other states to step up and come up with different definitions of what taxes were called. So if I don't call it income tax, then I might call it U.S. tax, or I might call it sales tax, or I might call it a tangible tax. Um, and because they start using different terminology and words into the word along with tax, then it was not affecting the ICC, uh, again, which is the interested, uh, you know, uh, consumers uh, clause. Um, so unfortunately, that's the way that, you know, a lot of states have been able to get away with, um, you know, uh, collecting income um, and it's, uh, they're becoming more aggressive. This is not a, um, you know, a, a, um, 
myth it is a reality uh they're going after you know every single uh you know e-commerce business um and even retail so even if you have a brick and mortar and again you're doing business online and and you have presence in one of those states they're going to come after you so i just wanted to touch a little bit about this um constitution because yes you're absolutely right it exists it still does exist unfortunately like we said congress has decided um for more than 150 years they they really haven't when you know and, and made any changes and there are unfortunately again i have to repeat this they are allowing the governments in the states to um uh, you know pretty much take over um and i hope by all means that uh, maybe our voice and and uh, i'm entitled to my uh opinion as we still live in a, in a freedom country um to say that i don't agree completely i think the constitution and congress is something that is there to uh you know uh, support us as as uh, you know citizens from this nation and um and if indeed we create a free interstate um you know consumer uh, uh you know uh exchange uh we are actually um not you know uh, protecting it uh we are allowing uh whatever other ways and governments to take over and um i find that to be quite sad but anyhow that is my personal opinion so yes again to answer uh, a lot of those people out there they're wondering and and, and saying is there a constitution is in america you know uh, supposed to be uh, you know protecting our taxpayers and, and consumers and and businesses and yes it was done you know back then uh but again unfortunately this is the reality that we live in and and, and i tell all my clients please be careful um it's just not not worth going through a battle with one of these states because uh, they do have uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, support like I said from the courts uh, and they will come after you um, so and, and another thing I want to uh, kind of bring up is remember that now is not so much about the physical presence it also has to do with economical presence in the states um, so I hope this kind of uh, for some of you who were maybe wondering uh, whether we had constitutions, yes, we have had them, and we have quite many, many, many that um, are still in place. Um, just like I said, Congress has decided to look the other way. I'm not sure why they're doing that, um, but uh, this is where we at. So anyhow, uh, please remember that we do um, specialize in salt. Uh, which means uh, the sales um, tax and local tax. So if you need any assistance, whether it's doing a checkup, which is something that we do for a lot of our e-commerce business, we have a lot of sellers in Amazon, eBay, uh, in different platforms. Um, and if you need help uh, having a checkup, that will be, I think, the very first thing that you can do um, to invest really in your business uh, to figure out before you find out you know from the states coming after you by all means I mean have a checkup see where you have the presence where you have the economical thing and then once you know that at least we can hopefully help you or whether you hire you know other firms who do specialize in salt and again that's like salt s-a-l-t um, and they specialize in sales tax and nexus uh, you know, make sure you have the checkup and then they can help you with setting up, uh, you know, the, the, the registration per state, okay, and also making sure that everything is going to be filed and, you know, monies are going to be submitted to the state. That way you guys don't have to worry about anything. And again, I'm here to help you and my team. So again, this is Liz Surya with ETBS and you can have the contact information right below. So uh, feel free to reach out to us and have a complimentary consultation. And again, please, I, I have to repeat this. It's just not worth having a battle with these states. Uh, they're coming out really hard. And um, I have uh, created a series of other videos that you might want to go ahead and look at those, talking about Nexus, uh, the definition, talking about sales tax, and other things that can really help you. Uh, but again, a good checkup is a good way of understanding where you're at, where you're standing with your business and where you're moving forward. Um, because like I said, um, there's a lot of things out there that they can go against you. And um, I, you know, I want you to stay in business, not go out of business. 
So again, this is Liz Soria, and thank you for uh, listening and or watching, uh, you know, our video on YouTube. And uh, like I said, I'm here for you. So just get in touch with me or my team, and I will be there to help you so much. Okay, take care and a lot of good luck, and don't give up. Bye.